hi guys today i'm gonna share with you what's in my bag and this is constance 124 just with the single gusset so it's a constance re-edition please stay with me hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Oksana thank you very much for clicking on this video and today I want to share with you what's in my bag and the main purpose of this video just to show you what fits inside this new Hermes handbag because this is Constance 24 or they call it 124 re-edition to be honest I have no idea why Hermes call it Constance 24 because even the regular Constance 24 with double uh, gusset it's actually in length 23 centimeters but they call it somehow constance 24 i don't know maybe when they introduce that new version of constance 24 um they were trying to differentiate from the older version which is the older version they actually called constance 23 which is correct size at the bottom that's you know how Hermes identified their handbags sizes like Kelly 25 it means at the bottom the length is 25 uh, Kelly 28 once again the the very very bottom line it's 28 etc etc Birkins etc so when it comes to the constants it's also from one end to other end it's a 23 centimeters and that was the very very first original constants because the very first original constants had this back pocket like you see in this re-edition the very first original constants it has only one gusset the only new things they did but the the strap was actually a bit shorter in very very first original constants the strap is shorter in this re-edition the strap is exactly as in regular constants 24 and it also has an additional pockets inside and it has extra mirror right now my bag is fully packed and i will show you what's inside my bag but before i proceed with that i'm gonna turn my camera around and i'm gonna show you how i'm removing stickers of my handbag and how I try to put different items inside my bag that um, could appeal to different people I would say because not everybody has the same uh, small leather goods but I'm trying to try different um, leather goods that you can somewhat relate it can you use this bag or not so let's turn camera around okay guys this is my constance 24 this is 124 it has just the one single gusset on the side i absolutely adore it right now there is a bunch of items inside and i want to show you what fits inside and then i do variation of the different things but before i do that i want to just get camera really close up and uh, I want to remove the stickers because they are getting a little bit kind of nasty looking to be honest. I want to remove these stickers and reveal this absolutely stunning, stunning hardware. Let me just, all right, so this is the sticker number one, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so let's do this sticker it's also not as easy as it looks <laughs> okay this is the second one because you know usually when it comes to from Hermes factory those stickers they go all the way around the hardware not just on top oh, absolutely oh my look at this gorgeous hardware by the way it's a rose gold hardware honestly it's pure joy 
though it looks like that I'm struggling right now, but I truly enjoy myself. Just want to make sure that it's also in focus. Oh, mine. So, and it's the last one over here. Oh. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I have to kind of clean up a little bit. Okay. So this is completely removed. And then it's this one as well. Look how beautiful this hardware. I just want to make sure that it's in focus. So we just do the other one. So this is the numbers of the stickers. Wow, crazy. So now the handbag in full glory. All the stickers are off and this is Hermes 124 Constance in Epsom leather, mauve Silvestre with the rose gold hardware. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's see what I have inside this handbag. Let me show you. The, it's uh, full of items. Inside I have my organizer from Zumoni and I have my discount code. I'm going to put it somewhere on the uh, screen right now, guys. And that's how it looks like. And I have my sunglasses. I have my chewing gum. I have my Chanel wallet. And this is... Um, I believe they call it zippy coin purse, but this is quite decent sized wallet. I have my car key. I have my earphones with the charger. I have my Hermes lipstick and I have my phone and my phone is iPhone 12 with the case. So now it's completely empty. So let's see. And that's how much items inside and I still can put something on top but let me try different things and see what fits differently say if you don't want to use wallet but instead of wallet you want to do use um, Chanel O pouch with keeping all your credit cards and essential inside there is a new style that already have with the uh, credit card slots mine is the old one so I don't have credit card slots so let's see if I want to use that one so in any case the cell phone will go in then I'm gonna put my okays and you see how it fits inside I definitely need to put my um, keys car keys my lipsticks for sure my chewing gum let me put also my airpods and battery there is also even plenty more space so say something like that also fit quite nicely and as i said i can easily put my glasses on top it could be your reading glasses or sunglasses and see it closes easily not even bulging or anything on the side Let me just make sure that it's so let's try something different let's say if I want to use the whole sets of keys for instance I have my set of keys and my house keys and instead of just like you know taking my car keys I want to have a full set of keys let's say I want to use my Louis Vuitton wallet hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna put my chewing gum as well. I definitely gonna need my cell phone. Let's say I'm gonna put my AirPod, my lipstick, can easily also put my glasses on top. And as you can see, it closes absolutely perfectly. So once again, let me show you. There is uh, plenty of even extra space if I wanna put uh, something extra inside. And for you to understand this uh, handbag size, uh, what I wanna do, I wanna do something really neat to make you understand the, the size of this handbag. What I'm gonna do right now, I have my Chanel Mini, and I'm gonna try to put this whole, see, it's definitely taller than Chanel Mini, but this is the, the width and the length. So, for you to understand what is the Hermes 124, it's pretty much now uh, mini, rectangular, but just a little bit uh, taller, a little bit higher. So that's what fits inside. You can see, as I said, you can easily also put glasses on top, etc. So I hope this was somewhat helpful to you. So now you can see that this handbag actually fits a lot and today is the first time I'm gonna wear this handbag. I remove all the stickers. Let me show you how beautiful and gorgeous this hardware, how beautiful this color. I absolutely love it. And this is how I actually personally packed it today. So I have my reading glasses, you know, I'm oldie but goodie. <laughs> I have my chewing gum. I have my full um, Louis Vuitton key clay with full set of keys, car keys, house keys, etc. I have my earphones with the charger. I have my um, one Hermes lipstick with the fabric cover. I have my Chanel uh, wallet. This is kind of mini wallet, or I think they call it ZP coin purse or O purse. But this is actually pretty much full size wallet nowadays, what it's considered. And I have my uh, cell phone. It's a cell phone I, um, iPhone 12 with the case, with the cover. And that's how it looks like inside. I have my Zumoni organizer inside. Uh, there is also extra two slip pockets on this organizer, but I removed them because I just want it to be as slim as possible. And that's how the handbags looks inside. On the inside, you have one zip pocket, one slip pocket, and one a pocket for the mirror. Absolutely gorgeous. So now, what I wanna do, guys, I wanna do the measurements of this handbag. Let me just put everything away. Because as I said, quite often, and if any of you know why it's like that, why Hermes call it uh, Constance 24, please let me know because as I said, I don't really have that information. So, let me show you right now. So you can see from one end to another end, it's exactly 23 centimeters, 23 centimeters. So I just gonna, I'm not sure how to measure here, but I'm just gonna do from very much top to the bottom, it's roughly, what is it over there? Roughly about 15 centimeters and 
over here in beads it's about five and a half centimeters at the very top maybe i should have actually mentioned in inches so let me just uh, we'll do in inches so the in inches the width it's about two inches the height it's about six and a half inches and the length about nine inches a little bit uh, more like nine and a quarter inches so that's about it the actual size and it's funny because i remember i wanted to have um constants in my collection long time ago but the only one thing's always stopping me is that it had a double um gusset even the mini uh constants 18 mini because i used to have mini rouli in my collection it's pretty much as a constants 18 but just a bit different obviously closure mechanism and i'm not saying if i would have get offer of constants 18 i would have rejected no i would most likely take it but it wasn't my first choice per se I always wanted to have an original Constance, which we call Constance 23. I was actually trying to search on the resale market and see if I could find, sorry, I'll say, see if I could find in the good condition, but I couldn't. And when it comes to also even original Constance 23, I always remember um, pictures of Jackie Kennedy. She was wearing the Constance 23 on her shoulder. So beautiful. If I could find one of those old pictures, I will include it. And I really love that it has this back pocket. I wouldn't suggest to put the cell phone in that back pocket, but it's so useful. Let's say if you want to use Subway, you can put your Metro card. Or if you're traveling, it could be your, um, you know, room keys that it's always accessible. If you um, drive car, it could be a parking ticket. Something very, very slim could go absolutely perfectly. And I love that it has this beautiful profile. Also, what I love about this beautiful profile is that when it's a double gusset, um, constant 24 or even constant 18, what's usually happening, it kind of gets like really puffy at the top and then kind of slim at the uh, bottom. But this, it has kind of more sleek, unified look on all sides. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. And of course, because it has also this perfect combo of uh, mauve silvestre absolutely love this color epsom leather and on top of everything with the rose gold hardware it's like winning combo for summer so happy that i was able to obtain this beautiful handbag and hopefully i'm gonna wear for years to come as you can see i already removed the stickers and if you want to ask me indication of someone that truly loves the handbag and want to keep it in the collection for a long time it's when someone removes the stickers of the handbag like i removed the stickers of my kelly 28 because uh, after a couple of years actually because i knew that i wanna um, use this and keep this handbag in my collection i removed stickers of this one pretty much right away because i knew that i wanna use it and i also know that rose hardware is rose gold hardware a little bit more even delicate than regular yellow gold hardware so i don't wanna um, you know, it gets kind of glued to the stickers in any way or damage the hardware from the stickers in any way. So I removed it right away. The same things happening with my Della Cavalleria. It's uh, like, you know, I removed the stickers from my Della right away because I knew that I'm going to use it. In fact, my Della is one of my most used Hermes handbag. So some of my other handbags that I have in my collection still have stickers, but most likely I have to remove them as well. So anyway, that's what's inside my handbag. Um, so if you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Ask me questions and I will answer. So, so happy. And today I'm going to wear my handbag for the very first time. Okay, guys, thank you very much for being here today with me, and I will see you in my next one.